fundamental radar we have zomato uh so as we all know zomato delivered a very good set of numbers in uh, q1 wherein the company turned uh, profitable at the uh, pat level which was much ahead of the uh, fourth quarter fi24 uh, target that was given by the management so uh this was largely supported by the strong revenue uh, growth and the uh, sharp margin improvement now uh, the margin improvement was on the back of uh, higher uh, take rate whereas the revenue growth was largely supported by the uh, strong food delivery business uh if we talk about blanket uh blanket was quite uh, muted in uh, q1 uh but th- because of the disruptions in the month of april and may but then uh, from q2 onwards we expect it to uh, reverse overall we are expecting a uh, uh, like you know a good all round performance uh, for zomato as uh, the uh, competitive intensity is uh, getting very accommodative uh, in both the food delivery as well as the uh, quick commerce verticals and if we talk about the uh, uh, take rate also uh, the uh, t- uh, the sharp increase that was seen in the take rate uh, so this basically uh, highlights the company's success in cross selling the um, ads to the restaurants which is a much more like you know sustainable revenue stream compared to like you know depending upon increasing the uh, take rate all round performance that we expecting on the revenue front should be largely supported by the all round performance in both the food delivery as well as the quick commerce verticals now if we talk about uh, blanket blanket is also widening its overall product portfolio which should uh, drive the uh, revenue and the margins going ahead so we expecting the company uh, to uh, break even over the next uh, four quarters which would be largely led by the uh, volume share gain and the strong operating leverage so uh, at the uh, revenue level we expecting 25% kind of cagr for the food delivery business and 107% kind of cagr for the quick commerce vertical over the next 2 uh, years uh if we talk about uh, the um, margins uh, then we expecting about 5% uh, ebitda margin uh, by fy25 uh, and we expecting uh, zomato to turn positive on the reported ebitda front by fourth quarter fy24 which would be uh, not earlier compared to our previous estimate of fy25 uh so overall we are quite positive on uh, zomato uh, from the long term uh, perspective as uh, we do not see uh, the uh, competition to intensify further from here despite the entry of the uh, uh, ondc in this space and uh, at the pat level we uh, are expecting a robust 40% kind of organic uh, growth over the next couple of years so we stay positive on zomato with a target price of 125 thank you